my first big press win really came from Jessica and working with Jessica. And so I got to do a live interview on CBS. I was definitely scared and nervous, but at the same time, I was like, I can do this. So that felt really great to have this win and then to just know that this is where I got to after not being able to turn on my camera in just a regular meeting. Before working with Jessica, I would always be the person that had my Zoom camera off. And one of the things I don't think I was ready for was what does camera ready mean and how to communicate and how communication can be different on Zoom. As soon as there's a camera involved for some reason, I ultimately just think that like I have to talk a certain way, I have to act a certain way, that I can't really be myself. And so instead, all of those things are going through my head and then I'm not able to focus on what I'm supposed to be listening to or how to respond or what I'm saying. I'm kind of just caught up in my head. I really needed some support of like where to even start. And I think that's really where Jessica came in. I felt like she held my hand, but also pushed me when I needed that push uh, to get to where I needed to be. I'm a writer. Writing comes naturally to me, but then communicating that orally just felt like a whole nother challenge. So my research really focuses on women's health across the lifespan and I felt like every time I had to communicate it in this way where I was talking to folks, it wouldn't come out naturally and I felt like so much of my vision was lost. Joining the boot camp, I felt like I now have this amazing community of women and then I have this coach who is always in my corner. The boot camp was something that I looked forward to every week. It was something I walked away with one of Jessica's teachings in my head and something that I could actively use. I know not to sit in a swivel chair because I would be like moving around in the camera like this or the ring light, where to move the ring light or how to set up my shot. You could go online maybe and like read about what to do to be camera ready but that's a lot different than actually doing it and having someone watch you do it and coach you through it which is really what Jessica did and I think she would sense if I was feeling kind of scared or if I was feeling nervous and she would push me or like she would encourage me when I needed encouragement and that's like the kind of person that you want in your corner it was just done in a way where it was organic and it didn't feel like I have to memorize this script and I have to be like this perfect individual to go on camera. It was really kind of learning how to come into my own. I think some of the first things I started being able to do was just be more concise. When I would write things more succinctly, I could communicate them more succinctly. And so I didn't have to memorize, you know, a paragraph by paragraph. I would kind of have bullet points in my head and I would practice those with Jessica ahead of time and I had somebody be like okay well this is what I heard is that what you wanted to communicate and most of the time it wasn't when I first started but then slowly over time that change started to happen sometimes it would be we learned something okay like let's practice this and it's, you know at times I'd be like what right now like I have to say this but I think part of that is like what got me comfortable of saying things on screen, answering questions as they come. That live practice component is incorporated throughout boot camp. And then we also had real news anchors who came, who you know, spoke with us, like who we basically had mock interviews with them. And that was incredibly helpful because all of a sudden you're hearing this voice that I'm like, oh, this is like a TV voice and they're asking me questions and like, what do I do? But you know what to do because Jessica has gotten you to that point. So then when it's not a mock interview and it's a live interview, you can do it. So getting the initial press and having it be CBS, which is a really well-known national media outlet, you know, has just cascaded the other opportunities because it's like, okay, if I was able to go on CBS and communicate my message, it's like, I can go anywhere else now. Now that interview is online, I can use that interview when I'm reaching out to folks and people take me more seriously. Chelsea Clinton recently posted about my book and the movement that we're working on on threads. And I think being able to communicate my message to someone in that position, I wouldn't have been able to do before I met with Jessica. So I did additional coaching with Jessica because I wanted to apply to doctoral programs again. Um, I had applied previously for two rounds and every time I would make it to the interview round, 
But then after the interview round, I wouldn't get the acceptance. What I didn't realize was that I really wasn't getting my message across. I tend to ramble. I tend to get distracted when I'm speaking. And so practicing with Jessica, I was able to be concise. I was able to stay on point. I was able to say why I wanted to do this. Why me? Why now? And why this program? This year, I've gotten three acceptances already um, and several interviews. If I want to continue doing this research, if I want to build the Center for Women, I need that experience and you need that degree and now I can do it. Every time I work with Jessica, I learn something new. Even though like she's in media and I'm in science, she's so good at helping me effectively communicate that science and I walk away feeling excited and uplifted and honestly empowered that like I can do this. So I think in the healthcare space, we're very used to like having one-on-one -on -one interactions. Um, we're good at sort of that one-to-one, -one, but then when it comes to larger groups, we're not so great. Uh, it's because we're not trained to really communicate in that way. If you are a leader in healthcare or you are a researcher, you want to communicate what you're working on, what you're finding, right? Like this is your life's work. This is what you're doing day in and day out. And so, you know, for things like funding, for things like dissemination, for things like community engagement, these are vital aspects of our work. And so being able to communicate that is like the first piece. So I think it's actually pretty strange. We don't get taught that and we don't have resources to that. And I'm incredibly lucky that I found Jessica. We all need to become better communicators. And especially in healthcare, we need somebody to train us. We need someone in our corner. We need someone who knows media, who knows PR, and who knows what effective communication looks like. There's a lot of PR companies out there, but they don't necessarily do what they say and they can charge like tens of thousands of dollars and like be like, here's a PowerPoint for you to use, right? Like what I always say about Jessica is that like she's not just giving you a fish, she's teaching you how to fish. I feel like she's my lifelong teacher on this journey with me and I have someone, you know, to answer my questions, to guide me. And I don't think there's a lot of people out there doing that or that can do that. If everybody, especially in healthcare and research, could work with Jessica, I would like push all of them, like that this is training that you need to communicate with your patients more effectively, to communicate your research more effectively. If you are thinking about working with Jessica, just do it.